Hello, radiant soul light. Wonderful to connect with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you find a resonance here and feel at home. Let this be a soul home, away from home or additional home for you. So uh, today in this reading, um, we're going to be looking at your energy levels and look at see how things are going body, mind, spirit, and soul. Spirit being the life force animating energy of you. What's coming up for you on the spirit realm, about to perhaps even manifest um, for you from the spirit realm into the material realm or material plane. But also get a check in how you're doing the body and mind. Um, just really get a check on your energy levels. There's so much change happening right now. Thing, there's a momentum. Things are speeding up. So it is a good time to kind of take a look in and see um, where you're at and what's coming up. And let's just see what spirit has for you. What messages. Um, all right. If you're new, um, I'd like to do a meditation, a tune in. But you're more than welcome to jump ahead to the timestamps. This will be soul story number one soul story number two and soul story number three um also i want to thank those of you that re recently um became a part of the soul path patreon community thank you so much for connecting with me there and supporting um, the channel and my work and also for taking that next step on your path um, some of you uh, joined the Soul Path Journey with michelle and it's great to see you um, in our monthly um, sessions and also, I want to welcome those of you that have connected with me also on Instagram, and I'd love for more of you too. Um, in fact, if you've been, you know, watching my videos for a while, say hi, whether on Instagram or on YouTube in the comments. I really just, um, you know, get a lot out of it by reading the comments, and I feel like some of you I'm getting to know you uh, either through a Patreon or Instagram or the comments that you're leaving. And um, it's really cool to, to um, be a part of this community and see it begin to grow. So, um, yeah, and if you want to connect with me further, soulplayground.life, uh, MentorCam, uh, I mentioned Patreon, and of course, Instagram also. And, uh, and please let me know any readings that you'd like to um, see, that you'd like for me to do. I'm very open to that. All right, I am gonna pause the video here before I do the meditation, but let's go over this again. Soul story number one, number two, and number three. See which one you're drawn to, whether by crystal or card or all of it. Um, trust your intuition and let yourself be guided from within. All right, soul lights, if you're staying with me for a little bit, let's connect in. Take a deep breath in, pause at the top, connecting into the crown chakra. Release the breath through the center of the body, gently pulling on the breath lightly through the center of the body, grounding out through the chakras at the soles of the feet. Then breathing in again, consciously up through the crown into the soul star chakra. You'll feel a pause point there. Releasing the breath, letting your out breath be longer than the in breath centering it all the way through your body, out through the chakras on the soles of your feet, and go a little deeper, connecting into the Earth Star Chakra. Take a deep breath here through the Earth Star Chakra, breathe out, let your energy expand, creating a wonderful healing foundation for you, getting more and more comfortable, feeling more and more safe on the Earth Plane feeling more comfortable in your body, more attuned to your body, more feeling much more safety and security on the earth plane. And then when you're ready, breathe back up through the crown, connecting into the soul star chakra. Take a deeper breath there, release the breath, expanding into the spirit realms of light and love, connecting into your vision, and then breathe in again as you breathe out consciously. Extend your awareness even further above you, perhaps another foot, two feet, six feet, or eight feet. So you begin to connect into the vibrational frequency of your soul. 
connect into the soul signature frequency aligning with your soul design. Go a little deeper inside, connecting into the center, the woof and wharf of your soul design. And then as you consciously breathe out, feel that energy coming through the breath, allowing the signature frequency of your soul to be felt through your body all the way through into the earth star chakra, feeling the love and light of the earth. All right, radiant lights. All right, so soul story number one, number two, and number three. Let's tune in. All right, soul light. So I'm definitely getting with you that you've been perhaps literally in the womb, the cosmic womb, or maybe the womb of Mother Earth. Um, you've been encased and enfolding in this amazing process of going deeper within psychologically, mentally, emotionally. Um, you've been going deep within, and also you've been receiving messages from your own spiritual aspect of being uh, through your higher self. So I do feel many of you are in touch with a deeper part of yourself. You may call it your higher self, you know, God, your guides, um, guardian angel. There's some part of you that you have been much more in contact with that's bringing you into this depth of awareness. I do feel that if... Um, you have been feeling lethargic or more and more exhausted. There's a deeper healing in the physical body for you. And there is also um, a lot of attention with that red and yellow. Um, I'm gonna say with the root chakra, um, also the sacral chakra also, okay? Root, sacral, and solar plexus chakra right here. And you've perhaps been kind of cooking something up or sitting on something that has to do with career, career direction or new job or path or whole new lifestyle, something that has to do with really raising your vibrational frequency. You've been working on yourself a lot and I feel mental, emotional, physical and body. So this, I feel this reading encompasses all parts of you, body, mind, spirit and the soul of you. There's much more of your soul aspect of being that's coming through. And I do feel that you're starting to connect more with abundance, recognizing that you are the abundance in the world. It's not just that you're asking for abundance or tapping into abundance, but you're realizing you are that abundance and abundance is your divine right. So you're tapping into a collective energy um, that is beyond the mainstream. You're, you're tapping into some kind of collective energy that is propelling you forward into this new life. Um, I also feel like like the meditation that I did at the beginning of this um, reading would be really good for you. Anything that connects you, head and heart, soul, you know, body, mind, spirit, soul, connecting to the soul aspect of you, and feeling more comfortable on the earth plane, feeling safer and more secure on the earth plane. Now, you did also get citrine. So I do feel like this is a lot about, again, self-worth, abundance, your self-worth is picked up. You're feeling better, um, and if you're not, you will be feeling much, much better about your body, how you look, how you feel. There could be a a additional vitality to you. People may be noticing, wow, you're glowing, or you, you, know, you look refreshed. Um, this is a lot about manifesting, and I feel like with the tower, it's like it's like it's leading up. So you're feeling, you're really feeling led. Let's see what else comes up for you. Oh, wow. And I was talking a lot about the soul. You've got the moon, the soul. So be very aware of the moon cycles for you. This is about, you're connecting much more with your soul design, your soul purpose, your soul expression. You're really connecting to the soul of you, your original design. You're really moving beyond conditioning. That's a biggie. You're moving a lot you know, leaving the conditioning behind, not letting the conditioned response patterns, generational transmissions, um, ancestral patterning. You, you know, you're definitely taking the wisdom of what you've learned from those that have come before you, however you identify with your ancestors or people that have helped you, but you're 
there's something growing within you that is a new version of you or a version that's much more connected to your soul that's much more of an out picturing of your soul okay let's see oh rebirth there we go there it is there's big changes coming up for you so I feel in alignment with you, body, mind, spirit, and soul. So, of course, the soul is our design or our blueprint, the individuated aspect of the all that is that we are. And there's a complex of resonance and frequencies and wave, There's a, and wavelength. There's a wavelength, the soul wave. And then the spirit of us is that life force animating energy, right? Prana. And so I feel like at a period of time, your life force energy, your spirit, was perhaps a little down or there, you weren't accessing as much of your spiritual energy, but you are now, you are in a rebirth. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, this is a butterfly. You've come out of a lot of confusion. And, and that's why I feel like you've been in this womb. You've like been in this little maybe pressure cooker or felt that you were like in a crock pot or in a cauldron, um, you know, there's just been a lot of alchemical change within your mental, emotional, physical body. There's been this energetic change, but it's affected you mentally, emotionally, and physically. And it's allowed more spiritual energy to come through to you. Now, the area of your life that's going to be most affected right now is the 10th house, your achievements and status in the outer world. So this is about preparing your body-mind system in a certain way that you look, that you carry yourself, that is in alignment with an up-leveling in consciousness and awareness, meaning that you've been, by your spirit team, your spirit guides, your own higher self has been honing your outer personality you, human outer personality you, to fit into a bigger arena a big, bigger vision to follow your inner star and not be swayed now i see this kind of thing happen when some, somebody's about to go to a, a huge next level like a quantum leap and the guides the oversouls just want to make sure are you ready to handle it can you handle this next level that's what's been going on and clearly you can because you are getting to the depths of your soul it's really quite beautiful Let's see what else we have messages body and spirit i'm also hearing you don't have to say everything that you're doing or your whole vision there will be people that come to help you is what i'm hearing to support you but this is about your outer world now beginning to match the changes in your inner world and you are on your path to destiny so it's like everything is in the right timing for you even if it seems like it's been slow or it's been lagging. Things are going to really start picking up. This reading is timeless, so whenever anyone is getting this reading, you can see that things are really about to pick up. Um, I feel like there's huge changes and perhaps even a huge move, you know, um, in the next six to nine months, okay? Uh, you're in a three to four year cycle where everything is going to be completely changed but your outer body is changing also and your personality the way that you show up in the world is greatly changed wow look at that queen of wands that's definitely a confirmation because this energy to me is the queen of wands it's very much about uh creativity being in the flow you know this queen of wands is floating above all these little candles of inspiration. So all these things that you've gone through, all these little challenges and, and achievements, have had, they're all little bits of inspiration. So you anything can ins inspire you right now. You're very tapped into source energies. So you're a bit of a magician right now. And what's key for you is that you connect in with your lunar nature, the moon, meaning the feminine, divine, feminine energy. So don't overdo is what I'm hearing. Uh, from your guides, uh, you're really living from from the soul, which is the higher self, the higher vibrational frequency of you. See how you're showing up. Nine of Cups, it's about to pay off, come together. You have learned through the difficulties in life, the challenges to make your own way, to create your own happiness, to tap into your natural joy. Hierophant. Okay, let's 
let's just get these out and see what's coming up. And you've got the Fool, so already two Major Arcana. Nine of Pentacles, look at this, Gain. Nine of Swords, that's what you have to worry, okay. Because, and then the Two of Cups, wow, beautiful. So it's like you came out of some difficulty, some trauma, maybe you cleared some childhood trauma. Some of you may be even past life of persecution to get to this place where you, it's like you really don't care. What is that, two Fs, you know what I mean? It, it's not that you don't care about people or you don't care about people's opinions, but you're like living your life more for you now. It's like, okay, I don't care, I, you know? You care, but you don't care, you know what I mean? And that's also the Hierophant. You've come out of a, a major learning and somehow you're gonna be relaying what you've learned. You're gonna be teaching. Um, you're on the steps to stardom is what I'm hearing. Listen to your body, Hierophant, um, you know, signified by Taurus, it has a lot to do with um, the body also. So a lot of your messages and wisdom will come from your body. What I will share with you is that there will be help, there will be cooperation. Um, some of you, this could be, you know, collaborations, creative partnerships, could be romantic partnerships. Um, but whatever it is, it, it, this is all gonna surround your 10th house. And I also feel like this is your outer life. Your outer life is shifting to, to reflect your inner life changes. So your vibrational frequency has changed. What I'm hearing is that it's stabilized enough that you're not gonna slide back. Now, some of you could have had issues with overdoing something or addiction, and that's over also. So you're really free. You're freed up to do what it is you really wanna do, whatever you wanna do. I mean, the, the sky's the limit. You've got this safe place within you. That's the womb. You've got your inner container um, to go into, whether through meditation or just the ability to pull back and connect with yourself more completely. The only thing is that you're, that you're shifting is, um, for some of you, anxiety or depression, and you may feel the energy ramping up a bit. You know, you may have um, astrological aspects to um, Taurus or Scorpio, you know, fixed signs, um, earth predominantly. So there, there may be something that's, that's like the energy is ramped up. So you're gonna have to be in touch with your body more, dance, move, yoga, shigang, stretching, um, walk. You know, sometimes I walk three times a day and I walk in the morning and then I like to go right after this reading, I'm gonna go walk and see um, like right around dusk and connect to the moon, okay? So do what you can to connect with your lunar nature, that your lunar nature is connecting you to the soul. There's an amazing connection between you and your lunar nature right now. My feeling is um, at this point on my path and all the studying and stuff I've done, I'm really feeling like our moon tells us so much more about us than our sun. Also our rising sign, if you're into astrology. But I do feel that our moon, because the moon also reflects past lives. So to really understand ourselves more, it's good to do a study on our on our lunar nature or the moon. Patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. So that's the anxiety. So things will be moving, but they may for you be moving on a cellular level, an energetic level in the etheric. So it may seem like not that much is moving externally that you can see, but you're feeling this energy starting to ramp up. And that's why I'm saying the only thing I feel you have to concern yourself with is anxiety. What do you do with the extra energy or the anxiety? And that's why I'm telling you, sometimes I walk three times a day. It can't be just, you know, Pilates. That's another good thing that I like uh, running, but the, there's something with the walking and doing like a walking meditation. Like if I look at, at night at the stars, the moon, I go and smell this jasmine uh, bushes. 
If it's earlier, I go visit the chickens and connect in with them. They're very grounded. And, oh, look at this. See, what did I say? You're having this alchemical change, this energetic change within you. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. That's what you're doing. The fear of your life or not having enough or not doing enough or being enough or not enough time or not enough resource, whatever that was, you're, you're moving into this nine of cups, this amazing self-love, love of God, love of the universe, love of all that is, of nature, love of your creations, your creativity, your gifts. That is creating this amazing inner process, this alchemical process within that is re-qualifying your energetic matrix. It's re There's a recalibration that's taking place that you're now buzzing and humming at a higher vibrational frequency. So you need to do what you can to acclimate your physical body to be able to handle this higher vibrational frequency energy, okay? So I feel like you're safe. I, I feel like the Earth Star Chakra is, is really connecting into that Earth Star Chakra and, and, and following your own inner star, connecting with your moon. That's going to connect you with this other lifetimes where you have so much wisdom. That's also the, the Hierophant card, all that wisdom. So... Okay, your soul insights mantra is I am divinely guided and divinely protected on my path. All is unfolding in my soul's divine timing. All is unfolding in my soul's divine right timing. You're in the right time for the right place, the right people and the right situations. All right. I'd love it if you'd let me know how this resonates. Leave me a comment. Connect with me on Instagram, Patreon if you like. Um, yeah. Let's just keep in touch. Soul story number two. Hello, hello. All right. I'm hearing you know what to do. Do what you know what to do. Do, you know, do what you know how to do. So body, mind, spirit, there is a realignment that's taking place for you. And you might have felt that it's been taking place for some time um, where you're getting, you've been getting much more in touch with your body. I feel you've been working through issues with your body or there's something with your body, body awareness, maybe changes in the body or how you look. One of the things I feel that's been coming for you or more prominent around you is the mental, emotional aspect of you. You're really starting to use your higher mind, your divine mind. And of course, you've got vision. And I'm definitely seeing this, the vision. You've got two owls on the side. There's these hands, and it's like it's all in my hands. You're really realizing that this part of your journey, it is in your hands. The changes for you to make are in your hands. It, you, you, And also when you see hands in symbolism, um, it has to do with having control, right? Because you, it's in my hands. I got a hold of it. I got a handle on it, right? So you've been getting a handle on something. You got a hold of something. There's this vision that's starting to take hold. The other thing that I've got with you really, really strongly, I'm going to move this over here, is that this time right now, whenever you're getting this reading, whenever you're watching, you've got to amplify it. Make it bigger, baby. Make it bigger. You've got this nice, chunky, clear quartz. You're seeing clearly. You're going to be seeing more and more clearly. Many of you are uh, clairvoyant. You're psychic, whether clairvoyant, clairaudient, but you're getting a clearer vision. I'm also seeing work with the, you know, the third eye chakra, the sixth chakra. You know, you could even get a quartz, look at it, quartz crystal like this, close your eyes, see it in your mind's eye, open your eyes, then close your eyes, and then see how long you can keep your eyes closed and see the quartz uh, crystal in your, in your mind's eye. So you're getting an upgrade with your pineal gland. Um, I don't know what you've been doing with the body, but there's been attention to the body. Maybe you're eating differently. 
Um, this is the message to eat differently, to do what's nurturing and nourishing for your body. Notice what you put in your body. Notice what you put in your mind. Is it negative thoughts? Is it things that hold you back, hold you down? Then you're doing less and less of that to none of that. This is about getting a hold of the vision, seeing it clearly and going for it. Okay. And amplifying what you have. Some of you could be in human design, like an amplifier uh, generator, maybe even manifester, but this is about, if you're on social media, then you need to do maybe, or get on social media and do posting or do more posting, or maybe starting a blog or a podcast. It's, this is about getting your voice out, your vision, your idea out more. Um, your plans, your projects. This is about going to a next level. Do you do you have a mailing list? Do you keep in contact with your clients, your customers, your students, um, the people that you connect with? What can you do to make what you do bigger, more noticeable? This is a time to be seen and feel good about being seen. Like I'm meant to be here. I'm meant to do this. I'm meant to come connect with people. That's your vision. A lot of you have a lot of wisdom maybe your teachers, um, writers, there's, there's something you're meant to relay by what you do. Third house messages. What did I say? Social media. So this is about writing. This could be, um, blogging, tweeting, short messages, maybe on signal, maybe on Substack. This is about starting to put what you do in more of a form that can then be amplified. It can be promoted. And what we call by amplification spiritually, it's to make more. It's to generate. So the oversouls want you to generate. Generate the ideas. Generate the content. Gen generate whatever it is that you're doing. Even if you work for someone else, this is about recognizing that you have the ability to generate, to create something. This is creating content. Something you want to share, something you want to do. You know, if you are a designer or you're making jewelry or you make something, then make it, generate it. And then how do you put it out there into the world? So a lot of you, this has a lot to do with social media, I feel, or some form of writing or communication. Could be changes also in your local environment. You could be doing some more traveling, I would say, by car. Uh, let's see, body wise. Oh, look at this personal power. That's part of your message. Empowerment. You're empowering others. You feel empowered. Lots of healing that's been happening on the solar plexus. When I tune in, you've been healing a lot with inner child, um, limitation. You're moving into a space that you want to communicate more. You want to be seen. You want to be heard. And Definitely, this is about empowering yourself and empowering others. And the house that's most going to be affected is the eighth house. This transformational area of your life is about shared resource and intense emotions. So you're looking for people, some of you may be in these kinds of relationships that are have much more depth. I feel like you're looking, um, I, I, you know, the eighth house is um, ruled by Pluto. It's house of, uh, by sign, it's Scorpio. Um, it's Pluto or, you know, Mars in ancient astrology. But look at this. This reminds me of Pluto, this fist, like resistance. I'm not going to take it anymore or I'm, I'm going forward. I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing it. So there's a lot about determination, conviction. And that's kind of eighth house. You've been getting, doing a deep dive into some deeper emotions. Like this is very... Uh, what we call chthonic, the inner, you know, the underworld, the deep within Pluto, letting stuff, recesses, deep fears, things that you thought you, or you handled, or you thought you had handled a little bit, and now it comes up. This is about deep, transformative energy. Um, I do feel that there's a group of you that has a vision to do something bigger in the world that is very transformative, whether you're transforming a, a, a group, um, you know, a field or a sector in the world, like a system, like educational system, governmental, um, health, finance. This could be also finance. This could be a good time also for you to, to invest. Um, obviously, I think you have to say this on YouTube, check with an, you know, a professional, but this could be a time to invest. Or if you are an investor, a stockbroker, a trader, you could be getting some nice 
you know, income, um, profits. Um, this is also would be a good time for you to one of the way. Oh, that's what they're saying. Okay, I get it. To amplify is maybe it's a fund. Indiegogo, go fund me. Um, whatever the other ones are. Or do you need a, a grant? Um, are you getting, you know, an investor or angel investment or a loan, something that you want to do that's part of your vision? Doesn't matter if it's a house or a business. This is a good time to ask because you're in a place now of receiving. It's like you've given a lot and now it's time for um, the energy to come back to you or towards you, okay? So this is a time that your life is starting to amplify more. If you've been tired or draggy, the energy amplifies, your energy picks up. Um, if you haven't had any inspiration or not very much inspiration, the inspiration comes back. If you haven't known which direction to go or what to do, um, that understanding of what to do, which direction to go in comes back. So in a way, you're a bit on like a rebound. Um, no, they're telling me, no, it's more amplification of energy. So it's almost like if you've been operating at 10 volts, you're about to go to 20. If you've been operating at 110, you're going to 220. So it's a natural progression that fits in with a vision of a bigger life. Okay, let's see what, wow, look at this, quantum. Oh, I'm just getting this, queen of cups, but for some reason I wanted to say quantum healing, quantum energy. You're working more with the subtle energy. So for you, working with energy or getting energy, healing, Reiki, anything like that would be really, really beneficial. Also getting a sound bowl, working with sound, getting sound healing, sound transmission, working with frequency, color, sound baths, all of those um, are going to help you. Right now, I feel like it's work. You, it's more beneficial for you to work more with energy. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do talk therapy or other things, but hypnotherapy, anything of blending meditation or hypnotherapy with music, um, affirmations with music, because the vibration of the music is going to greatly help you. So you really are being guided to work more vibrationally. Page of Cups. I'm just going to put the cards out here and see what the messages are. Queen of Pentacles. King of Cups. A lot of new people coming up around you. Death, Rebirth. You might want to look at soul story number one if you were drawn to that too. Because also the eighth house is the house of endings. Um, it can be death. Um, it's taxes. It's it's the second house is more about us, ourselves, our resources, our self-worth, seeing ourselves as a resource. Um, and the eighth house is the is the other. It's the it's what's projected out. It's like you've been putting the bank, you've been putting the energy, maybe some of you money in the bank and there's savings accruing, or you've been eating better or doing more exercise and it's paying off. So there's something that's paying off right now in your life. And of wands, okay. And the devil. So yeah, it has a lot to do with manifesting on the denser physical reality of the earth plane. So it's interesting, you've got all this kind of up in the air energy and it needs to be grounded, soul story number two. So your dreams, your goals, your desires, visioning, you know, meditation, uh, working with your dreams, there's a lot that is hanging up or hanging around or hung up and you're in a process. So this is about the vision, manifesting the vision. That's the next step, manifesting the vision. But you do need to take care of your body energetically. Okay, the devil, which is Capricorn, um, has to do with everything with the earth plane, right? So you again, there may be something to be more process oriented with what you're doing. And to not be over compulsive or obsessed that's also eighth house. That's also this. So even if something is not manifesting quite the way that you want it to or quick, fast enough, quick enough, it's saying not to become over obsessed or compulsive about what you're doing. I'm getting two cards here. First, you got snake. 
Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Okay, that's it. Healing powers. I told you energetic healing. So doing the healing on your own. Now, this could even be, you know, on YouTube, watching, um, you know, a healing video or visualization or hypnotherapy or guided imagery or a sound bath, you know, just anything that could, binaural beats, anything that connects you with the energetic aspect of you. And this is a snake. And it reminds me of the snake here, the uh, Euroborus, right? Which is the beginning, middle, and the end. It's the snake that eats the tail, which means that we out of the snake is born and then the middle part is the middle life and then it eats itself it re and that's the regeneration so you are in this time of regeneration but you do need to work energetically is what i'm hearing you need to address the energy body and then this is what's going to happen sun open your heart to the enormous growth ahead so there's there is going to be a peak experience for you where you just feel dynamic glowing creative just on on fire just there there is this there is this coming you first have to take care of the body mental emotional body and the physical body so it may be that you need to just rest rest the mind don't you know if you've been overthinking or planning or we're doing a lot of work rest the mind if you've been processing a lot of emotions rest the emotional body so rest the mental body the mind literally the brain, um, the emotional body, so rest the solar plexus, the gut area, maybe have some soothing food or a lot of water, and then rest the physical body. So that's what I'm getting for you. Let's see, we've got any more messages here. But I can feel it. I mean, it might be dragging and then there's like, you're just shining, you know? And if you're already shining, you're going to be shining even more because this is this is about regeneration. This is about another wave, a next level wave. Okay, trust your vision is what I'm hearing. Free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Well, that's what you're doing. Free spirit to create, to follow your vision. And uh, that is your Soul Insights mantra, by the way. I am free to follow my vision. And for some of you, I'm receiving messages. That's what this is about. Third, I'm receiving messages from my soul about my vision. I am now able to follow my soul's vision. So some of you just cleared up a lot of stuff karmically old condition response patterns, old agreements, maybe old relationships wrapped up, old, you know, contracts, soul contracts, and now you're free uh, to do more. It's in your hands. You're, you're, you're free to mold the life you want. All right, please, if you feel a resonance, I'd love for you to subscribe and also to leave a comment about how this is unfolding for you. And also I'd love for you to connect further. Instagram, say hello. And uh, just let me know a little bit about you and how this is unfolding for you and how your soul path is going. I, I really would love to know. And of course, if you want to dive deeper into spiritualism and metaphysics, you can connect with me on Patreon. Otherwise, I'm just very grateful to connect with you now in this amazing now moment. And I just wish you so much love, light, and wisdom, and the freedom to follow your dreams and your soul heart desire. All right, so light. So I really get a quiet, contemplative energy from you. I feel You've been thinking, thinking, mulling things over, contemplating, reflecting. Some of you realize that there was this fork in the road. Maybe you didn't see it as, as much. You've got the fault line. And I hear a couple things. It's not your fault. It's your path. Your soul ch chose this. But I also feel you found yourself on one side of the fault line and someone else or a group of people, or it's like your old life and new life. 
there's been a split, there's been a schism. There might be a schism also from what you wanna do or what you're doing in the mundane everyday world and what you're envisioning yourself doing. I feel that this split, this fault line that's caused a lot of cracks in perhaps thinking, um, it's like fault line, it's like a little earthquake. You've had a, a tower moment or a few tower moments in an earthquake that's shook old beliefs, you know, shaken you from the hold of old beliefs, old conditioning, um, expectations, understandings of life. You've been kind of shook free, which is very interesting. You chose the fluoride here. And fluoride has a lot to do with rigidity. It's good for um, rheumatoid arthritis, anything where there's rigidity or diff stiffness or difficulty moving. So it has a lot to do with breaking free of old limiting beliefs or beliefs that are no longer needed or necessary, um, beliefs that hold one back. It has a lot of healing energy with the green and then the purple is also bringing in the spirit or spiritual realm. So you may be master meditators, um, metaphys metaphysicians, you may be using um, the principle of attraction you know, envisioning what you want, meditating, putting it out there, maybe using affirmations or mantras. You've really worked a lot to release the chains that bind you or bound you. Some of you are still in this process, releasing the chains that bind you. Some of you have been releasing the chains that bind you and a lot of the change that, chains that bound you, you're free from. And so it's caused a little bit of a shakeup in your mind, in your life, with certain people around you, but the shakeup is good. So you're being asked to look at all sides and, and, and honor where you find yourself now because it's been directed by your own soul, you know, the higher self. You've been guided and directed and you've been following this. So this is releasing what's held you back, what's too tight, what's stiff, what's rigid, rigid thinking, rigid beliefs. And also I would say this also has a lot to do with um, you taking better care of yourself, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of it, mental, emotional, spiritual, I just heard financially and, and physically. So some of you may be making some different decisions financially also. Ooh, Grand Shrine, blessings. All this work is going to be paid off. You have blessings coming. And then determination. What did I say about hard work? So all this determination to go to your own next level, to connect more with your soul for more soul expression, more authentic self-expression, which means soul expression is paying off. There's about, there's some major blessings about to come in your life, or you might've been seeing a little bit already. With this 10 energy, I'm going to say that there are new beginnings for you and also an up-leveling um, financially. So I'm almost seeing this as like the wheel of fortune. Your determination, your focus, your due diligence is turning that wheel of fortune. And with the this circle here is your life and this inverted triangle, the triangle coming down is the blessings as above is so below. So you've accumulated in this essence, um, the blessings, which we may say out of cause and effect, good karma. The house or area of your life that will be most affected is the 12th house. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. Now the 12th house is the subconscious. It's the place of undoing, limitation, restriction, hospitalization. It's whatever limits us. But it limits us because we don't know about it. It's the unconscious, right? It's Pisces, Neptune energy. So it can be diffused. It can be kind of hard to get to. But we get to it through the subconscious, hypnotherapy, meditation, daydreaming, dreams. I feel that you've been addressing this aspect of you, the subconscious or your inner drives, what, what motivates you, what inspires you. And... You are, because of that, again, your determination, these blessings are coming in for you. Now, what I also feel is that you have blessings from past lives, 
or past life, but even your past of this life. You've put in a lot. I keep hearing good vibrations. You've, you, you, you have, there's, you've put in good vibrations, you've helped other people, and now that's coming back to you. Be very aware of your dreams, the messages that come from the dream state uh, for you. Grand try, there's going to be some ease. Now, the thing is, the hard part is over, but you are finding yourself in a different way or being a different way or with around different people. You know, they're, they're, you, you're seeing the shift. You're like, wow, I used to be over here, and now I'm over here. Or I used to be at, hanging out with these people, but now I'm over here. Or I used to have these ideas and beliefs, but now I have these ideas and beliefs. So you've been moved in a different direction, and it's because there's been a bit of a earthquake, a tower moment. For some of you, it's in your life, but all tower moments start with a mental, emotional tower moment. It starts within, and then it's expressed without. So even if we have an outer tower moment that's kind of extreme, that's because we shifted internally. And the only way to align to that shift is some things have to dissolve or be taken away or whatever. But mostly the tower uh, card has to do with um, releasing old beliefs or restrictions, jumping out of that, that tower that we've built up that supported us that now instead of a tower to look out of, it becomes a prison. So you've been doing a lot on the mental realm is what I'm hearing. So let's just check in and see how things are going for you. How, well, obviously they're going well because the grand trying, things are going to be easing up. The determination um, is paying off is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this one wants to come up for some reason. Wow, three of pentacles, work, determination, working with others. This is focus. This is also gradual progress. It can be looked at as toil or labor. Again, this is not like a fairy godmother came down and, you know, took a wand and went, boom, your life is easy. This is work. You, this is from you. The easy, whatever is a flow for you, whatever seems to be easy or the opportunities that are now coming to you are coming to you because, let's make this here of your hard work paying off, your determination, your focus. Even when you're not working, you have this subconscious focus and determination. We got the chariot. Hangman. That's okay, just hang back. Reevaluate, evaluate, just you don't have to run anywhere, do anything. I'm, I'm seeing this as stop, go, pause okay so be very attuned to the cycles right now when do you when do you feel like going when is the right time to go is that an opening to go through is it a wait and see like a yellow light is it a green light uh the oversouls are saying just be very aware they're guiding you you're being very guided you're on your path to destiny well see things are going to pick up what i tell you eight of wands traditionally was the arrows of love. But this is about fast moving energy, overcoming miscommunication, misunderstanding, getting clarity, whether within yourself or another person or people, or I feel a lot of it has to do with your path. Seven of wands, courage, tenacity, focus. Again, this is about focus. So you have a lot about focus right now without being rigid, without having to make things happen. But your natural determination, your natural inspiration, your natural motivation, you know, our inspiration, when it starts kicking in, we, we do things from inspired action. And that's a very high vibrational frequency. It resonates around joy, joy to acceleration. Um, it's, a, it's a form of love, love of what we're doing, love of life. Even if we're having difficulties or challenges or feel held back, you tap into that energy, it starts moving things. So again, this is about being able to pause, take the time. Six of Wands, success, acclaim, trust. This is all about trusting your path, your process, trusting you, the true you, your soul, your higher self, trusting you that you are guiding the ego you, the little avatar you, the little self. And so whatever it is that you're going for, it does show that there will be success. This also shows me that 
the mental emotional body bounces back also. So if you've had ills or things that you're not sure, well, why do I have this feeling or this pain? Things are going to be clearing up. Why? Because you're in a death rebirth. So there's a new level. Okay, so what I see here, determination. So this is swimming upstream, these little fish, little fishies. But I really feel like you've been feeling like you've had to swim upstream and then there's some opening. I see it with the star here. I see it with the white here, the color here. It's like this white of swimming upstream moves into this cosmic window. So you're moving into the rebirth, okay? And if you're in the death part, letting go, the rebirth is coming, is what I'm hearing to tell you. Now, that's also because of the shift that's happened. So, just be, you know, aware of your beliefs, your idea, because this is a time of, you know, the, that fluorite releasing limiting beliefs, releasing what stopped you or blocked you, um, getting more flexibility in your body mind. And that's mental mind, mental body, emotional body, and also the physical body. Wow, you're the only one that three came out. Let's see. You got, oh, love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Well, that's what I was talking about. Remember at the beginning of your reading, reflective, contemplative, meditative. So journaling, reflecting. In other words, being in touch with the cycle of your life, the cycles of your life, the rhythms, your biorhythms, daily, uh, weekly, monthly. You know, okay, I've been working a lot. My biorhythm is saying, I need to hang back. I need to reflect or I have confusion. I need to journal or I need to do a walking meditation or whatever it is for you. But notice when do you need to slow down? Is there caution? Do you need to research something more? When do you need to go? You're getting the message to move forward or to go. And when do you need to stop? Now that stop can be a complete stop and like, no, not anymore. Or it could be a stop of rest until the light changes again, until your energy. So you may even want to do a meditation with, with um, these lights. And they're using a ball. It's like a ball of yarn. So again, it's, this is the process of creativity. We don't just go, go, go. Creating a new life or building a business or whatever you're creating, a relationship, there, there's these patterns where you go, go, and then it slows down and then it stops and it picks up again. And, you know, so and then you've got the chariot. So there is something moving forward. Many of you could be actually moving or traveling more. There could be getting a new car or house. Again, this has to do with some, again, lifestyle changes also. And then you've got marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So if that's something that you want. Maybe you're very clear about what you want and what you don't want, what parts of yourself that you, it's like you healed. You know, we don't leave parts of ourselves. We, we, that the way that we express it becomes a high, you know, more uh, life enhancing, high vibrational, more uh, life enhancing way. And it gets subsumed into other parts of us, right? So maybe the old old way of being and the new way of being or old people that you would hang out with or date or be with or you know the old way of doing something so definitely there's much more cohesiveness coherence much more balance within you much more self-love self-esteem um but i do feel like the, the how your body mind has changed or altered or, or healed rebalanced the way you're expressing is if that if you are wanting to attract a lover a love mate 
a soulmate, significant other, then that's happening. That's definitely on the horizon. And that may be that split also, that now you're partnered or you're going in that direction with that person. Maybe you're going more into their community. They're going more into yours. There's a new life. There's a fork in the road, what I'm hearing. Um, if it's not that, for, then for you, it is going to be that you're doing more of what you love to do. You're around more people that... Um, get you, feel you, understand you, you get, you feel, you understand. It's just, it's just easier. Things, it's a trine. Trines are ease. We could call it grace and ease. There's just going to be much more ease in your life. And people on the outside will be, oh, they're really blessed. It's blessings. It's blessings. But you've put in the work. That's, there's nothing is coming to you that was just granted again by fairy godmother um let's see there's something you need to make notation of that you do need to write down whether it's a diary or you're working on a book or budget um could be just a to-do list or shopping list but there, some of you like to write maybe you like to write lists a lot it helps organize you is what i'm hearing let's see if there's any other messages Grace and ease, things are moving. The rigidity, you've, you've freed up a bit. You have a good foundation and you, ooh, nice. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. That's the other role that you left behind. You let go of it's dislodged. Is not feeling good enough, whether in your mind, your emotions, your body. You're feeling better and better about yourself. Yeah, you are magnificent. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. So you got rid of a lot of baggage. That's the twelfth house too. Undo, you know, limitations that we just don't see. They're subconscious, but they act upon us or beliefs that you know. I feel like many of you maybe you've been doing counseling or a lot of journaling, and you've gone, "Wow, I had this belief, or I grew up this way, and that's why I was thinking this way, and I thought this." Get rid of it. Free up and enjoy your magnificence. So your soul insights mantra is, "I am enjoying my magnificence." And I am manifesting from my soul's magnificence. I want you to really connect into that word magnificence. Look it up. Look up the derivation, the etymology of it, whatever, where it came from. Just, I, I want to say it's like magnify, magnifying something, the essence of you. You're like magnifying the essence of you. And you're really seeing you, the beauty of you the uniqueness, the, the, the gifts that you have. Enjoy it, Radiant Light. All right, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you feel a resonance, love for you to subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Just say hi. If you want to connect further, you can on Instagram, Patreon, Soul Playground, MentorCam. Um, here on YouTube, just let me know how you're doing. If you say, hey, I, I'd like you to do a different reading or could you do a reading on this? I'm very open to suggestions and um, definitely very open to connecting with more people on the soul path. So if you feel a resonance, I hope you will connect further. All right, Radiant Light, just keep shining bright. <laughs>